invited a lot of people, a lot of our friends that we've made and people in the industry and whatever. Um, we're going to see how many of them show up. So we're just going to run with this thing. We've got some fun stuff we're going to do with whoever happens to show up back here behind us. Um, they're going to be involved. And here's what you need to know about the Hopecast, especially if you've never been a part of it before, uh, is that it is interactive. So you actually get to be a part of this as you find out the people that are going to show up with us. You'll be able to ask questions and give feedback and uh, be a part of it as well. So please uh, uh, share it. Uh, if you want to do, you can do a, a watch party right now that you can host. Yep, and then you're like, how do I do the watch party? Just hit share on your page, and then it'll, on the bottom right or left, it'll say, start your watch party. I would suggest do that because we got some amazing guests. Yeah, for sure. That are going to show up. Okay. Are we ready to introduce our first guest? Let's let's introduce our first guest. All right. Uh, we are In gonna... fact, I think he's got family from Kern County, if I'm not mistaken. I think you just our might first, be right about our that. Our first guest does. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Colton Dixon. Woo! What's up, guys? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Doing really well. Really well. Thanks for having me on tonight. By yeah. the way, what... What kind of piano is that? That looks awesome. It's a, uh, this is my Steinway. I, I just installed some um, Philips Hue lights. I got all techy with it. But uh, yeah, got to keep myself entertained somehow during this quarantine. So my entire studio has got like colored lights everywhere. So it looks fun. amazing. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Is this it. what you do now since there's no concerts? There's no, you like, you just have to make your house feel like it's a stage lighting and everything? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the music thing never comes back. I'm just going to be an electrician. So yeah, no, that, that <laughs> cool lighting in your house. I'm your man. Yeah, the kind of electrician that just makes things light up real pretty. Doesn't really fix anything. And I gotta say, man, congrats on uh, on the song Miracles. Uh, Thanks, man. Uh, we we love it. We play it a lot. Um, and I, the I'm trying to think of the other song that you put out there as as a, a devil's a liar. Yeah, that's such a great. I was telling Matt when it came out, like this is the greatest like um word video i've ever seen <laughs> oh, <laughs> it you. was it so is much. thank you yeah the, the team killed it um that was actually a suggestion I don't, I don't know if you guys know kai over at fair trade yeah yep. but, um he pointed me in the right direction um with that lyric video funny enough so um that was yeah it turned out so great we we're pleased with it so uh, we, throughout this, um, have a few other people that will be uh, joining in just kind of randomly. So if you start to okay. see others pop up, that's the reason why. Got in it. Fact, they might even be your neighbors. I don't know. They could man. be. <laughs> Possible. Uh-oh. 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 Hey, guys. another guest in the mix. Hi. What's up, What's Katie? Up? Katie Hurst. How are y'all? Great. We are so... It is so great to see you, and I'm just curious. I mean, do you guys, first of all, has have, have Colton and Katie ever met each other before? I don't think no, so. we have not. Good to meet you, Colton. Nice Hi. to meet you as well, Katie. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Katie has put out uh, one of, the, I think, the most fun songs that we've had for a while. Oh, yeah. When, uh, when hey, uh, I'll check it out. Came out. out. Yeah, that, and we're still running it because she is awesome. All things Aww, cool. thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. We're glad that you're able to, to join us uh, on this Mother's Day. By the way, did everyone call mom? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. Check. Check. <laughs> okay. okay, good, good, good. Um, I, I know I assume uh, you are both in Nashville or Franklin in the area there? Yeah. Do you live in Nashville, Colton? I do. Yeah, we're in okay, South cool. Nashville. What about you? Sweet. Yeah, I live in Nashville. Cool. So I'm in every time in town. Everything okay. uh, work out after the storm? Like, how, how long did you guys have to go without power? Or maybe tell for people that don't know uh, what happened last week with the big storm. Yeah, Katie, I don't know. Um, I, you, you probably got hit with the tornadoes a while back, yeah? Um, we did. Like, literally, this is – so the house I'm at right now isn't mine, but it was on the street. that was on the news, and, like, everything got blown, blown over. It was crazy. Was that your street? That it got hit the hardest? So it was my brother's street. Um, but it, yeah, like there's a church on the end of their street that the roof is completely blown off. Um, and their house was fine, but like several houses on their streets were were really damaged. So 
but the storm so the storm last week um right. we were i was fine but i have a jeep and um i had the top down and the doors off my jeep and i was trying to make it back to my house before the storm came and i didn't make it i got like five minutes from my house and yeah. um and like the whole time i'm driving and i'm with my boyfriend and he's trying to like look at the radar and see like are we okay do we need to pull over and like i mean we're seeing lightning in the distance like the sky is just black and it was yeah. so scary yeah. and we got five minutes from my house and it just torrential downpour it was it was quiet at the time <laughs> wow. don't feel bad so I, i'm a weather forecaster here in bakersfield and uh i i drive a jeep i take the doors off and i myself i even forecast it and i know it's coming <laughs> and i still get taken out so yeah i, I understand it's all good that's amazing we're G all jeep people i love that. Jeep. do you have a jeep as oh. well I do, yeah. I'm gonna, I really yeah, feel out. I don't know if I should go. All right, hey, I'm just curious. Oh, what yeah, what years are you guys' Jeeps? Mine's a 2010. 2010? Yeah. yeah. Colton? Nice. I, I've got a 2011, so I'm basically the same thing. 1988, right here. <laughs> I can't tell who won in this. Yeah, you, I don't, I don't that's know amazing. Yeah, you 2011 won. or 88? <laughs> no, <Nah, laughs> trust me, I, I wish I had the AC in my car. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. uh, you guys both win. You have AC. So you're like, you're a real Jeep person, though. You're like yeah. legit. Well, it's, my wife's the real Jeep person, so props to her. Good job, Rock. That I don't think the speedometer has worked in his Jeep for ten years. Yeah, right? speedometer, no odometer yeah. has never worked. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> details. Who needs that stuff, really? Anyway, uh, you don't need it in California. Option. That's true. It's just like a no, no, absolutely not. That is super true. All right, we have more guests, more artists. What? Hey, Mike Tyler. Tyler. What in the world? What is up? What's <laughs> up? Hey guys, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Oh, you know, just hanging out my bathroom. <laughs> just normal stuff. Are you really? Are you in your bathroom? I'm in my bathroom. Yeah, the acoustics are better in here. I didn't know what this would entail. That's amazing, dude. That's a nice looking bathroom. Yeah, dude. Oh, hey, guys, we're kind of connoisseurs of bathrooms, and that is uh, that's up there, man. Oh my gosh! And just to make sure that you understand, I'm not. This is not a toilet right here. This is my bathtub. <laughs> right. like, I do not believe you. <laughs> we weren't going to question Last that at all. Bad press right now. You know? Oh, but we're still not done because. Austin French uh, is here. Austin. Yay. Austin. Yay. Hey, how's it going? Now it's a party in here. This is crazy. So, this is awesome. to all of you guys, because um, I realized we just jumped right in, and you guys might have no idea what on earth we're even doing. Um, we, <laughs> that's kind of par for the course for us. Uh, we usually don't either. Um, so when this whole lockdown thing started, especially here in California, we decided to put on a show to do something extra, um, just as an extra way we're bringing in pastors, mayor, listeners, artists. Um, and so this is our last one, uh, and we wanted to do something super awesome. So we decided to pull in all our favorite people uh, to be a part of this last Hope cast. Come on. Yeah. That's awesome. Love it. That is so cool. And what you guys don't realize is we're all going to write a song together. That's why we have Colton playing the piano. <laughs> Colton's been working on this all week. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, all right, we haven't – Austin, uh, where are you at? So we know Mike is in the bathroom on the toilet. So, we're, yeah. Austin, where are you at? Yeah, yeah I am in our, my little upstairs getaway uh, bonus room at the moment. It's the – it's – the reason you cannot see anything below uh, like waist level is like this is where my kids play, so uh, it's not safe. It's like a mind. I thought you were gonna say because you didn't have pants on. But. Well, that too, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, mainly because of uh, the toys. <laughs> I like that it's a bonus room too. It's not the guest room or storage. It's like what's that room bonus? Bonus. Yeah. You yeah. Know. <laughs> So one of the one of the questions we had for all of you guys is with all of this stuff the last whatever eight weeks is there something we all know what we want to get back to but is there something good from these last eight weeks that has come out of it something you'll miss when it goes back to normal 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I know for us, like we just sat down, you know, it's Mother's Day, so we got to hang around the table. And typically for our family, that would be like a special thing that we got to do is like, we're, we kind of finally, I'm not touring, we, we're off on Mother's Day, so it's all hanging around the table. But like, this has kind of been normal for us for the past couple of months. It's like all five of our people in our family hanging out together, talking about the day, loving each other and stuff. And so, like, you know, as much as I love going out and playing songs and, and getting to meet new people and all that kind of stuff, um, man, it, there's, I, I, can't, I can't take back the last couple of months of sitting around the table and just getting to know my kids even more and hear, like seeing my wife as she mothers a little bit closer and stuff. And so I know that that's one thing for us that I, I'm, I'm going to have to get used to whatever normal looks like when this is over with. And, and hopefully there'll be a few more tables that we can uh, gather around too. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I have really enjoyed just having time to write. And I think for since I started like doing the whole artist thing and touring, like I've pretty much only it's been a year and a half that I've only toured. And um, and so it's been kind of like hard to find time to write because I'm just like always driving the car to the next place and stuff and um so I've had so much time to just write and um like I feel like I've been so inspired for the first time in a really long time and so I like, I don't know I wake up every morning and I just like write songs and that's kind of what I like that's why I started doing music because I love songwriting um and so I feel like I've kind of gotten back to just being like hey okay, god like what do you want me to say and I have space to listen and um it's been really cool that's really cool. We actually talked a lot about wondering if when all this is done, it's going to be like, you know, after nine months, you know, it's like now all the song babies are being born, all the writing yeah. that's being done right now. Yeah, yeah. By the way, welcome Christian Stanfield. Hey. Yeah. Oh, hey. Come on. What's up, guys? What's wow. going on? I didn't know this would be such a party, man. Cheers. Yeah, man. So do you guys all know, does everyone, do we need to do introductions again? I think I think we're clear. All right. Yeah, you need to. Yeah. yeah okay, okay. <laughs> you guys look amazing. Have, have you guys? Uh, now I know Katie didn't know Colton that they're met meeting for the first time. But have you guys? Has everybody else met met here before? I Katie, I, I don't think we've met. Who is saying? Is that Christian? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi Christian. It's great to meet you. Hi. Good to meet oh. you too. Oh, look at there. Hi, hi. Uh oh, oh. oh, as long as we're doing introductions, Hope Darts is here. Hey, Hope. Hey, how are you guys? <laughs> no, oh, you so Hope crazy, guys. Hope? Come on. I, I have not officially met Micah, even though we are doing all this stuff together, but I haven't met you. So congratulations on your new record. It sounds amazing. And you're hey. Amazing. Can't wait to meet you in person soon. Well, thanks so much. We've been Instagram friends, so that's been nice. We've been, been nice. commenting back and forth, and so I feel like I've known you forever. Thanks. Well, that's actually thanks. that's actually how we met uh, Christian. Christian followed us on Instagram. That's, that's right. Um, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Good day, man. Cross. <laughs> oh my gosh! I know. And Christian, even though I don't know you, we have so many friends between John Smith and Mia Fields. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just yeah. love what you guys are doing at Passion. It's so incredible. And Melanie, I know Melanie. So yeah, thanks. Thank yeah, those are all great people. They are. It's awesome. Yeah. So Christian, I, I feel like I have to clear the air. Oh, by the way, I know this is probably super trippy because you guys see this behind us and it's on the delay and all that weird stuff. Uh, but Christian, so yeah. I had the opportunity to go to Atlanta to be uh, at Passion this year, which was amazing. And uh, we've talked a couple of times now. I've had the chance to talk to Christian, and I've shared this story on the air. Um, I don't know if it was I was just tired because we're going one thing to another. So we're down right. there talking to the whole Passion crew, and I'm talking to Christian. I think it was even introduced. Hey, it's Christian. I'm like, hey, man. And we talk about families, and we talk about, like, our kids playing Fortnite and all this stuff. And yeah. at the very end, I leave. I'm like, well, that guy was nice. I wonder who he's with. And somehow, somehow it didn't click, like, even though we met before, that, oh, yeah, I think it's the next morning, like, oh, right, Christian, stand still. <laughs> man, that's the way it should be, man. That's the way it should be. That's perfect. Yeah. I, my, the thing about you and I's relationship on Instagram that made me laugh was when you tipped us off to uh, 
the the other artist called Passion. Oh on my Spotify. god! Yes, <laughs> that it's want, down. I think it's gone now. I don't think you, you want to tell everybody now. what. So I pulled up Passion on it was you, Amazon you Music it, yeah. for me, and it, all the songs were there, but the top song. You want? Do you remember what it was? You got to remind me because it, it's gone now. Yeah, it was called Baby Making Music. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey man, look. Different is that kind like of passion. a song of Solomon type thing? Is that what different that kind of yeah. different yeah. kind of passion? In quarantine, man, it's, it's, it's happening. There's a lot of baby uh, like, Corona uh, baby. I know. Well, I, it yeah. wasn't going to be our last old cast before. It certainly is now. Uh, Caroline, yeah. Caroline, I'm, I'm getting ready to show how my age and that I didn't even understand that there's more people on this from just now. So, like I'm just now seeing Colton and Katie. <laughs> It's great Guys, to meet you. Girl. I mean, it's so nice to meet y'all. I have an 11 year old that is literally teaching me how to work the iPhone. That's so, so <laughs> but I, nice. Colton and I go to church together. Oh, yeah. Hi, Colton. So Hello, nice to meet you. I'm so excited about your twin twin girls that you're having. Thank oh, you. congratulations! That's awesome, it's awesome, man. It's, uh, it's wild. It's been the perfect quarantine season for ever is a perfect quarantine season, but. Um, yeah, Annie and I have been soaking it in. But thanks, Hope. So it's glad so awesome. you're like doing this too. When I was talking I'm to doing Kai, this. I was like, Hope, I know Hope. I go to church with Hope. This is awesome. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. <laughs> so, by the way, yeah, let's bring let's bring this up for for all. For I was curious, do you guys ever bump into each other at? At the Starbucks? Uh, I mean, you guys, you all live in Nashville, I assume. I actually live in Buna, Texas, and uh, we're about 35 miles from the nearest Starbucks. But if you guys ever go to the wow. Buna, Texas wow. practice slot, I could possibly run into you there. Gas <laughs> 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 stations, maybe, that I could, we could rub elbows at or something. Oh, <laughs> perfect, that. man. That's well, yeah, we're, 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 Colton and I see each other all the time because we actually go to church together. So we see each other. But I think I, I don't really see a lot of these other people. Katie, I don't, Katie, where do you live? I'm not sure. I live in Nashville. You do? So, okay. Yes. Well, then well, I live on Pass you... Craft. Yeah. We'll meet at the local Starbucks. <laughs> there. <Yeah>, perfect. <laughs> Which one is the local Starbucks? So you Starbucks. go to the same church, Austin and Hope. Are, do you guys all uh, do worship at your churches as well? Like, are you part of the worship yes. or lead the worship? I am. I've, I, I have always, I was a worship pastor and worship leader at, a, at another church for 13, almost 13 years. And then I've been a part of the belonging church since I began seven years ago. And I've been leading worship with that team ever since we were in the basement. So wow. I'm, I'm really a worship leader and worship pastor at heart. That's really all I've ever known. So this is a new world for me. That's awesome. So cool. Yeah, I was a worship pastor at two different churches, uh, um, one in, in Georgia and one in Florida. And then we moved to Nashville and uh, my wife was like, hey, can you go to church and like sit by me for once? That'd be cool. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll try that for a season. So, That's perfect. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just uh, attending and serving and leading small groups and doing that kind of thing. That's and Christian, so cool. do you ever lead worship at all? Uh, not much right now. <laughs> not much right now. <laughs> yeah, man, we're, uh, I'm itching, man. I'm itching to be in a room full of people and, and, and lead our house. I miss our people, man. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. be in a room with our church? I'm curious about that. So, because I lead worship for a church, and we found it really difficult to, uh, you know, you, you record when you're recording. It's different when you're doing it with a live audience. Mm -hmm. Do you guys find that to be uh, somewhat similar? Yes. Yes. It's interesting. Go ahead, Hope. There you go. No, I just, it's so interesting because like I, this past Thursday, I did a, um, a live recording for my church and, um, and it's still, it's like, it, it's still worshipful just in a totally different way. Cause I feel like when there's people in the room, like I can sometimes like God will point a certain person out and like, be like, Hey, you know, pray this over this person or something like that. And so now, you know, what I struggled with was thinking like, Oh, this is going on the live feed. Like, you know, am I saying the right, am I looking at the right camera? And like, I, I just was like, ah, I don't want to think about that. You know, so it's, it's, it's interesting, but you know, it's just where we're at right now. Different yeah. Same. Yeah. 
I just did it for the first time this past week. We went in and recorded a couple of services that we have them, you know, for the weeks to come. And I was talking to our worship pastor, Andrew Holt, and he was saying, the thing that I've noticed about going in and filming during the quarantine is that as worship pastors, worship leaders, so often like what we feel drawn to do is to really lean in and say, you know, God, what are you speaking to the people right now? Like, where, what are you wanting to do right now in this room? Mm-hmm. And you yeah. so read off of what you feel like happening in the atmosphere. And so when there's no one in the room, it really strips it back to being like, okay, this is actually just for you, God. Like, this is actually just between you and me. And yeah. every song is really for you right now. And there has been such a power in that, I think, for our team and for us as worship leaders, like, that it's forced us to, to kind of maybe even recognize, like, how you can so depend on meeting the people in the room to help you navigate what to do or what to think, where to go. And there's been something really sweet about it being stripped down in the season to it's just, God, what do you want to hear from me? How can we exert you? How can we exalt you in this moment? And it's a oh. so many other friends that go to other churches, but they felt such powerful worship coming into their homes every single week mm-hmm. that is that is tangible in the atmosphere. And I think that that is something to be said about, you know, in the heart of worship is just simply to glorify God. It the needs of every single person, no matter where they are or what they're doing. So that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, you know, I'm looking at everybody here now and it, it dawns on me. Did any of you guys, I'm referring to um, not Colton and Austin. So you guys, Colton and Austin were on reality TV shows. Did you guys ever vote for them? <laughs> wow. Hey, I voted for Colton. I'm just saying. No, you didn't. Mike I did. Out. I Colton, did. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I voted. I'm pretty sure I voted for you. My I whole mean, youth group. My whole youth group was rooting for you, bro. So yeah. Had you. That's amazing. <laughs> Same. I was I, in, I did the live cast skit to Colton's performance. So like, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. we need to see some of that right now. Yes. Oh, I have my gloves. That's yeah. <laughs> 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 Is there like a club? Is there a club for uh, those of you that started on on a reality show, or there, that's where it launched it? I feel like there should be. Should be. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we can start one. You know. Yeah. We should, we should start one and not invite Mandisa to what she <laughs> <laughs> Hey, notice she's not on this call. <laughs> <laughs> I, I auditioned uh, for American Idol, and I did not make it past round one. What? Oh, man. Very hard. Yeah. Like, but I did it like, like the second or third year that they ever like did it. So... So I, kudos to you guys that like got all the way through because that's amazing. It took me three times. I was on three different shows. It was ridiculous. I don't wow. recommend it. So rude. You should have made the Not like that I'm a Colton Dixon fan or anything, but wasn't it your sister, Colton, that actually allowed you to get on for a second time? That is, that is true. Thanks for bringing that up. So kind yeah. of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That, I- that is true. Yeah. I so don't. you guys, uh, since you've been at home for so long now, something I was curious about, because one of my favorite questions is, on a normal time when you're doing shows and traveling and tours, what is the weirdest place or venue or show you've ever had to do? Mm. Mm. I did a, uh, years ago, I did like a fifth quarter. You guys, have you guys ever done any like fifth quarters? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, here's my daughter. This is Elle. He say hey. Say hey, everybody. Hi, Elle. Hi, Elle. Hi, Elle. Hi, Elle. Love you, James. Um, so I did a fifth quarter after a high school football game, which is like the kiss of death. When now you know, like if you ever get called for a fifth quarter, you're like, no, I'm not gonna do that. We did a fifth quarter in um, Wetumpka, Alabama. Mm. And that was a real treat. I've never been there before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's underwater at this point. I have no idea if that place even still exists. But it was a real, real experience to, to be in Wetumpka for a fifth quarter. That was pretty wild. 
I played Austin, a, uh, I played a yeah, crawfish yeah. festival in Mauriceville, Texas. Nice. And, uh, nice. and, and this is like four years ago and 12 people showed up, <laughs> but they were like, we still want you to go for it. And oh. so, so we played an hour long set for 12 people. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't, it was also just really sad because like there was a carnival happening and it was the end of the festival. And so like, they were just tearing down carnival rides. So like, we're just singing these songs and like Ferris wheels are just driving by. Like that. It's just, it's just gears and stuff like that moving around. And so that was, uh, I, I'm, I, if I get the call back in Mauriceville, I think I'm going to pass in the crawfish festival next time. Here. Did you get any crawfish? That's the question. What's that? Did you get any crawfish? Oh no, they tore it all down. Like literally, no. it's just like, it was just like a sad dream. I'm just singing stages, to just dreams being torn apart in front of me. And so it was, it was like the fifth quarter of crawfish festivals. <laughs> <laughs> We played Disney once when there was like a hurricane, you know, for oh, man. that was like, it was two or three years ago. So, um, obviously there were tons of people there because they were trying to get out of Orlando. Um, I think there was a total of a hundred people at our wow. stage at Disney world. It was wow. sparse. And they were being sticklers on the time as well. So I, I, think we, I think we ended five minutes early, and I think we am fine for it. It was wow. Like, wow. Come on. There's an impending hurricane, and they're really like, you know, you got five more minutes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was amazing. Was anyone else there for that at Momentum that year? Yeah. Yeah, Hurricane yeah. Irma. Oh. Yep. Yeah, wow. I was for like two days before I had to leave. Yeah. Yeah, it was a mess. But we made it. <laughs> I so this was this past summer and I'm I don't even remember what state I was in but I played a festival and they put me on the like screamo like metal stage and, so I, and I'm not I'm like that's just not me at all I'm a worship leader and then like pop music and um and so I get to like this like we drive up to the stage that we're supposed to load in on. And I mean, there's just people moshing and like, I just like, I was scared. Like I was like, wait, they did not put me on the stage. And so, yeah, I played with like, like the crowd that was there was just so uh, like, I mean, it kind of, it kind of ended up being fine, but it was just a weird, it was very strange. That is awesome. I, I kind of hoped you, you actually jumped in the mosh pit. That would have been awesome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Started it, yeah. You know, yeah, that that would have been great, but <laughs> you know, with with all you guys here, I, I I'd be I would hate myself if I didn't ask. You know, if Colton, if you just play piano, everyone sings something. I don't I don't know. Friends, definitely. Just friends. just play Friends. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone, yeah, and just sing it all together. I think that I mean, it could be a total train wreck, which would be so much more awesome. I think. <laughs> Move at all. He's like, I don't know if I know the chords. It was no. perfect. Are we talking? Are we talking Michael W. Smith, friend? Is there any other? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The theme song, song from Friends. Song. Yeah. I have something to admit to all of you right now. Okay. You don't know who Michael W. Smith is? Um, I don't know what song you're referencing. I don't either. Friends, oh, I don't either. Oh. Okay. Take it home. Come on. That's All right, how about the friend theme song? Is it one five six four? Because I can do that. What, what are the chords? <laughs> oh, come on. I, I don't know. You know that no, one. Austin's, Austin's, Austin's grabbing Austin's something. Austin's coming in clutch. It's just because I'm. It's just because I'm like a decade older than all of you. That's why I know the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's just making us feel really old. Yeah. Dang it. All right, we can do this if we want to do this. No, let's do it. Come let's on. Let's do it, Austin. Austin does oh, it. Everybody else, watermelon. Hey, yeah, you know yeah. what? We're all on uh, our laptops. <laughs> our friends. Well, he <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there, you go. Right on. there you go. There you go. I mean, who needs lyrics? Not artists. Christian, how come you, uh, if Hope and uh, Christian, do you not know it? 
Uh, that was a little bit before my time. I know the song, but I I didn't right. I didn't grow up on that one. So I think one is the chorus, right? Mm. I know the chorus for sure. Yeah, right. All right, here we go. That's all anybody like, knows. This is like group sing along at camp. I like this. This is yeah. yeah. Hey, where did Micah go? He's got out of this. Yeah, he vanished. He, he, he heard, heard sing along. Smith and he was out. Maybe he actually had to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Wi Fi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, friends and friends forever. If the Lord's the Lord of heaven. If friends and friends forever. He's the welcome in my heart. Though he's hard and there you go. In the promise and we know. There it is. That our lives are not to live as friends. Man. Yeah. There it is. There it is. I think for, I think all of us, us on the radio side and you as artists, that was probably... That was peak. We've all yeah, peaked. I think we yeah. all. Peaked. Uh, well, so. And now it needs to be redone again. So I think mm -hmm. now you guys know what's on the next album. Yeah, yeah we'll do it on the remix. Work on that. Yeah, secret track, secret track, right there. I'll learn it. I, I just, I just feel so old. Oh now. yeah! Wow. Um, wow. Uh, hey, um, it, since we're on Zoom and everybody's here. Let's try a steering contest just to make this really ooh, even more awkward. Ooh, if that ooh, I like this. Enough, All right, you guys ready? <clears throat> are you up. like, do we like pick a person or just yeah. go ahead? What are the rules? What are the rules? How, how do we switch the other view? Do, oh, oh I, 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 on the right side? Oh, okay, I like that. Oh, right. All right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Ready? Set. <laughs> go. Ah! Got him. <laughs> oh, I'm playing. Ah! Come on. How will wow. I know? I can't look at anybody else. I, I, I see think Colton, Hope, oh, and uh, and Matt. I think are still holding in there. Unless Austin's up. It's, oh, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, Austin's yeah. out. Is it, wait, wait, is that was the two out. Austin. Ah, no, that's me. Uh, it's between Colton and Hope. No, <laughs> Hope, you blinked. I saw it. Colton wins. That's what I thought. Okay. I think oh, oh, wow. Glorious. Was great. Or shall we call it a miracle? <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> All right, let's. Hey, you guys all have songs in the radio right now. Uh, let's give a shout out. Um, let's talk about those ones. Um, the, the latest, I think, all the newest of all everybody's is going to be Christians. Um, there's nothing that can stop our God. Is that? Am I, I got the maybe nothing our God can't do. Nothing that God can do. I literally sang That's it this the morning. One. Yes, and I can't remember. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's so That's good. That's the one. Mm. So good. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. In 30 seconds, um, where did that come from? Yeah, we wrote that uh, leading up to Passion 2020. And, um, you know, and you guys were there. You know, when you're in a room with that many people, you know, there are a lot of people, you know, stuck in what looks like an impossible situation. And so this song is just helping people remember that anything is possible with God and Mountains can be moved and walls can come down and greater things are ahead for all of us in Jesus name. So that's what the song is for. That's what it's about. And it's been such an awesome anthem for our church here in Atlanta and excited to share with you guys, man. Thanks for playing it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, hope it gives people some some hope, fills them with faith. Well, it goes yeah. with hope. I mean, hope your, your song right now is like flying up the charts real quick. Um, tell us a little bit about your song. Yeah, um, Peace Be Still, it's a song that we wrote actually about four years ago. Um, myself, Mia Fields, and I mentioned earlier, Andrew Holt, our um, worship pastor, and it became an anthem for our church, and our church ended up releasing a record, and we put that out, and um, the song kind of started to get out, but ultimately, like, about a year and a half ago, myself and um, Mia and the other co-writers, we just we just felt like an urge in our heart that like God just wanted to do more with the song. And we didn't really know what that meant. And at the time, like I wasn't doing anything. I was, I'm a stay at home mom. I was a worship leader. Like it was very much like just an act of faith and just being like, God, I don't know what you want to do, but I'm going to go take this tiny step of faith and record this song and hmm. just, you know, breathe on it if you want. Um, and a year and a half later, that ended up being that I signed with fair trade. Um, music services and had a deal and the song came out um in february and 
little did we know that we would end up in this pandemic and that it would be a song that's declaring the promise of God's peace yeah. in the middle of a storm. And I think, you know, the song is so timely, but I think the reason it's timely is because it's actually timeless. And the fact that God's promises don't have an expiration date mm -hmm. and that they're always available. And so it's just a song that's just honestly a reminder of like God promises to calm the storms. He promises peace over our lives. And, and we have to partner with that. You know, we, we wrote this song in a season when Mia and I were both really dealing with fear. And we wrote this song just as a confession. Like it was a genuine confession in the room that day of I'm facing fear, you're facing fear. So let's grab a promise of God and move in the opposite spirit and confess God's promise until we actually feel it shift something in our own lives. And so it's just amazing to hear the stories of people that are hearing it on the radio, that they're saying, I felt something shift in my heart and my mind today. It just, it really is just so powerful. And it just means the world to us because that's what the song did for us. So to watch it replicate itself in the hearts and minds of people over and over. It's just, it's and really it's, just unbelievable. It's, awesome. it's resonating. It's resonating everywhere. And, and it reminds it, I think of uh, Austin, your song, like, Why God? You like just put that out a few months too early. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that, that it's still a uh, it's an interesting song to speak to the season that we're walking through right now. And there's a lot of people asking that question. Myself, like I remember uh, we were on Winter Jam when all this kind of hit, and it was like a couple weeks until the end. And um, you know, I, that's kind of how we feed our family. It's just like touring and and doing this thing and I, I remember coming home and and uh kind of the can the tour got canceled and I'm sitting on my bed with my wife and I'm just like kind of freaking out I'm like oh what do we do now who are, who are we now like what 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 is God gonna do through all this and she was like hey let's just like let's speak truth and uh, mm, let's take good, those man. fears like Hope was talking about and let's take them the questions that you have let's take them you wrote a song about it so let's actually like live it out and um so yeah that song has had a new meaning for me in this season and it's been really beautiful uh to watch god trade that fear for hope you know and, uh, and the peace that he promises so yeah I, i'm definitely understanding a lot more of my identity not in what i do but um what he's called me and i'm a child and he is okay if i have questions every now and then so yeah it's been great, great man season. Awesome. Well, I, I gotta go to Colton now, you know, because your song "Miracles." Uh, let's talk about that for a second, because literally, like, I feel like everybody's got a single out there, like, right now that is is literally like talking about everything that we need and going through. Yeah. Um, gosh, about three years ago, um, my American Idol deal ended, which meant my label went away. So I was an artist without a label. Kind of feels like losing your job, and. Uh, a lot of unknown, a lot of uncertainty in the future. Um, and uh, my wife, like, like you, awesome, we have good wives. Um, I was like, man, what a setback. Um, I was just so down on it for a couple of weeks. And my wife said, man, what if this isn't a setback? What if God is setting you up for what's next? And um, I don't know, it just really changed the game for us. So we started to um, apply our faith um to that and stand on that and we're big believers that faith is what precedes a miracle um it's the only thing um we come with faith and god just can't help himself um he just so wants to bless us and and um yeah it was during that time as well that we looked around and we just saw all of all of the things that maybe we took for granted because we were busy or because for whatever reason um that were miracles that happened every single day um, so the song's not only about the big things, but it's also about appreciating the little things. And especially during the season, um, man, we have such an opportunity to make the most of it with our spouses, with our family. Um, so yeah, I, I, I guess uh, if nothing else, just an encouragement to appreciate all the little gifts that we have in life every day. Well, and Katie, I mean, talking about things new, you're the new artist, just like uh, Hope out there. Uh, tell us about where where are you going because you get, are you getting ready to release a new single? Um, so I I just released one two weeks ago, um, yep. and I'm releasing new music hopefully within the next couple months. Um, we're like finishing up now and trying to figure out all the like 
how do I go to a studio and record? Do I do it at home? Blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, I the one that I just put out last week, it's called Yours. And um, it's, it's about like identity. And I think for me and probably a lot of other people, it's like we can super easily find our identity and like what we do, you know, and, and um, try and like get to God by like the amount of good things we do, or maybe think that we can't get to God because the amount of bad things we've done or whatever. And it, this song kind of sparks because I, I lead a group of high school girls and um, we meet every week and uh, we were meeting at Starbucks and one of my girls came and she, she was just like, I haven't read my Bible at all this week. Like, is God mad at me? Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. And um, and it just broke my heart because I just, I looked at her and I was like, no, like that's, that is totally not the point. And like, God just wants a relationship with you. He doesn't, he doesn't care if, you know, he's not trying to get you to check all of these boxes of have I done this perfect and, um, have I messed up here and whatever. And, um, like in Psalm 51, it talks about how God doesn't want, like, he doesn't want perfection. He wants a broken and humble heart. And so, so I tried to write a song about that because I think, um, you know, when I heard my freshman girl in my group, when I heard her say that, I was like, I, I relate to God like that sometimes, even still. I'm like, God, I'm, I'm so sorry that I didn't do this right. Uh, or I'm so sorry that I messed up here. And like, are, are you mad at me like that? And um, God just wanted to remind me like, hey, you're, you're my child. And you're mm. my child because I love you. And right. uh, like when Ephesians says, it's by grace that you've been saved, not a result of your works so that mm -hmm. nobody can boast. And so I was just like, I want, I want to write this song as a reminder that we're just, we're, we're gods because he loves us and that's just who he is. So, yeah. That is awesome. You guys, I don't know. Uh, I think it's any killer. moment Zoom's going to cut off our, our 40 minute limit, <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. it is, I, I can't think of a better way to wrap up doing the hope cast thing than with all of you. And, I, and there's something that's so awesome about, you know, we all know people that have lost jobs or are out of work and here you guys are, you can't tour, you can't do shows. And all we've heard all throughout this is your, about your faith and the time, the precious time with your families and how you've grown and how you've been encouraged. And I think all of us uh, need to remember that and, and keep that in the forefront for whatever that looks like in California. We're, we don't really know how much longer this is going on, but uh, I, I think it's such a great perspective and appreciate that coming from each one of you. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's this, you know, Absolutely. there's a scripture that, I know a lot of us know that it says, I'll see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And Come on. that has been the scripture that I have clung to in this season. Because Love it. if you really dig into that scripture, it actually says, I will see. Not God will show me, but it says, I will see it. It's a choice to say, I'm actually going to look for your goodness in this season. Just like the scripture that says, seek me first. And like, and all things will be added unto you. Or if you seek me, you will find me. Like there's such a part of that scripture that is about us putting our focus on God, where are you and what are you doing? And what is your goodness? Because I'm making a choice to see it right here in the land of the living right now. And it doesn't mean that everything looks good. It just means that somewhere in it, God has weaved goodness. And so I think that that is something that is so important for us as believers not only in this season but to carry it with us in the season after this because we're always in what we do that are they're not in a good season they're not in a good moment they're not in a good yeah. situation and be able to partner with them and say hey let me pray for you let me speak life of your situation because god's promises goodness here for us in the land of living so that's kind of Hope is preaching. Yeah. yeah. Who, who yeah. is this yeah. service this morning? Yeah. We got it here. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you guys, I just, just catching this. So the girls um, have their phones going vertical and the guys have it going vertical. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> okay. And why is there long hair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, we don't forget Hope. Happy Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Hey, yes. Come you. on. Come on. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to all your wives and all the. I don't, I'm assuming people are watching. Is that how this works? I don't know how this works. Yeah, yes, we, we are. are. We actually do. <laughs> yeah, we had any comments come in? I know we haven't. We normally do more normally. interaction with our yeah. viewers, but. Uh, oh, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas. Yes, happy Mother's yeah. Day. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, moms. Matt, you guys are, are champions. 
Oh, oh, our moms are our watching. Our moms are watching. Uh, this. Uh, moms. Uh, uh, hey, you guys say hi to our moms. Hey, hi. mom. Hi. Hey, guys. What's up, mom? <laughs> good. Hey, and by the way, speaking of uh, Colton, I know your your wife's going to be a, a, a new mom very soon, and they are twins. Um, boys or girls? Identical girls. Wow. Identical girls. So my mom, who's watching, would make me say this to you because I'm an identical twin. Oh, um, no way. There's two of you? There's two of us. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a package. <laughs> so you're ever in Phoenix. My twin brother Joshua would love for you to come to the Refuge Church and, and lead worship. <laughs> Um, but uh, nothing like a shameless plug. Yeah, shameless plug. Um, <laughs> but anyway. Hey, but the shortest twin will be your oldest. All right? right? Only identical. The shortest is the oldest. Wow. That's a thing? Or the first That's a thing? One will be the shortest. So, yeah, the firstborn will be the shortest. And that other way so let it be written. Wow. Yeah, let it be so. It's prophecy. So let, us, let it be done. <laughs> I, I, might, I might just have to tuck that one away. Go ahead. So, so people love right. the twins um, rendition, and some, uh, Lisa said it's so funny seeing them wipe their eyes from laughing so hard. So, so there's that. Everybody likes your friends. I don't know if you heard that. My wife's yeah. here uh, helping read the comments back to us. So in yes. pajama pants. Yeah, and she's wearing Mother's Day pajama pants because it's Mother's Day. Oh, so am I. Like, yeah. don't get this. I can straight pajama lot loud. <laughs> hey, you got vertical shows those pants. It's Mother's Day, guys. Yeah, I'm not getting dressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, he wants to let everyone know that they're amazing. He really appreciates you. And he says, Matt and Aaron. Uh, and, Stephen says hello. Yes, and he wants to know if, if anyone knows when they'll be back on the road. Oh. Oh, when, when do you guys think you guys may be back on the road? There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, not sure. Not sure. Maybe late fall. We're looking at something at late fall that still might happen, but yeah, I think it's all up in the air, sense. man. Yeah. I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I mean, I hate saying that, but yeah, um, we're kind of looking at late fall too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you all in concert. We hope you all make it out here yeah. to Bakersfield. Thank you guys for taking some of your time on your weekend, on your Mother's Day. Hope, <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, thank for you guys, me. man. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you all. Good to see you guys. It's like a little family reunion. I like it. Nice. I love the mustache, by the way. Hey, thank you. I'm Keep trying. Keep the mustache. <laughs> I know that stash is dirty, and I like it. <laughs> it is dirty. <laughs> 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 on that note then that's great right. hey, once again hey, uh, to Austin to Christian to Hope to Katie to Colton you guys thank you so much for being part of the Hopecast yeah, absolutely you, guys man. loved it thank, thank you all so much thank thanks for having me appreciate it all right, have a good one. thanks guys okay. thank you yeah. well, that's going to be it that's how we wrap up the Hopecast thank you guys for joining us thank you for being a part of it and uh I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, we'll be back afternoon joyride again starting on Monday. And Inception just took Whoa. place. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa!